In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a list of the best jobs in 2024 in the age of AI. And just FYI, these are pretty underrated jobs. Like they will not have the sexiest titles. See, I told you the names are not going to be like sexy names, but what they do have is one high growth opportunity. And two, not only are they recession proof and AI proof, but actually take advantage of AI and other fundamental technologies. So you'll be like the guy or girl selling internet stuff when the internet first came out. Well, it's very hip to be on the internet right now. Little competition and all growth. And no, they are not going to be your generic jobs or me just telling you that you should become an AI engineer, AI researcher, AI something, which of course is important and we will touch on these. But there is so much more out there that may actually prove to be even better than working on AI itself. Plus, I'm also going to show you how you can refine this list to find the best jobs that suit you. A portion of this video is sponsored by InVideo. Recently, I somehow found myself being part part of this business meetup thing. In order to not be that awkward person sitting there by herself, I started chatting with the guy next to me. And you know, small talk, so it was like, what do you do? What do you do? And he said, hold on, I literally wrote this down. He does 3D surgery molds for people's faces that need jaw surgery using AI and 3D printing. Like, you know how some people have like overbites or underbites or like in some misalignment in their jaw? So they scan people's jaw, then use AI to determine what is the correct surgery to perform that is the least invasive and the most optimal for what their problem is. Then they create a sort of 3D mold to guide the surgeon. And you stick the mold like inside the mouth of the patient and the surgeon just needs the cut around it. Not only does it help surgeons come up with more optimal ways of doing surgery, it also stabilizes their hand so they're able to perform surgeries five times faster and with better results. It sounds so niche, right? But there's actually a huge market for this. Also, he didn't like directly say this, but somebody else that I was talking to was just kind of like, oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, he makes like 500k base easy. And he also runs his own side hustle, consulting other hospitals and surgeons about how to do this. No, cool millions coming in. But you know what he used to be? A sculptor. He says he really loves sculpting and he's been doing that for his entire life. He's had some successes, but overall, it's pretty difficult being a sculptor by career. Your income is not stable, you're working really long hours, and oftentimes you don't even have creative freedom. So he decided to change his career into something that had more growth opportunities, still had to do with using his hands in sculpting in some way, hopefully, and made a lot more money. He said, yeah, if this was a few years back, it would have been a no-brainer. It was going to be tech. It was the golden age of tech and the best jobs were all in tech. Money was flowing. These days, not so much. Companies now hiring a lot of specialists and contractors and freelancers, which in combination with AI is much better ROI, a slowing global economy and just like changing trends. So instead, he explained to me, which I kind of like made a framework out of a five step process to find the best jobs, which usually have like slightly cryptic names and are just very underrated. Step one, identify the fundamental technology technology trends that are going on. Step two, identify the fastest growing industries and how these fundamental technologies are changing them. Step three, take a look at your own skill sets and your strengths. Step four, determine which jobs are the most suitable for you specifically. Step five, do a deeper dive into those most suitable roles. This little device which fits under the tongue will change everything. There are two fundamental technologies that are undeniable in 2023. The first one is, of course, artificial intelligence. Ever since ChatGPT got released in November of 2022, the world has been paying attention to AI and the floodgates had opened. Google quickly released Bard, their large language model, and Llama from Meta got leaked in February. I'm making meats now, smoking these meats here. Then in March, OpenAI stepped up again and released GPT-4. And then it was like week after week after week, there was like crazy AI developments, like Google DeepMind that discovered millions of new materials with deep learning, accelerating medical diagnoses, more accurately reading medical charts, and a lot of drug development. Toward the latter half of 2023, AI images and videos especially were taking the spotlight. OpenAI's GPTs and multimodality functions made the model even more unbelievably powerful. And we ended the year with Google Google's Gemini announcement, which is a tad deceptive, but still represents huge ambition and is kind of foreshadowing what's to come in 2024. Now, a second field that saw huge strides, especially in combination with AI, is the field of robotics. There are a lot of conferences that showcase really cool developments in robotics. Tesla released their robot, the Optimus Gen 2, breakthroughs in tiny robot surgery. And have you guys seen this video? Sir, there's no one there. Yeah, that's the police stopping an autonomous vehicle on the road. In Beijing, where I'm at, these little guys are running around everywhere. They're fully autonomous, 
electrical vehicles. There's also technologies like quantum computing that has taken big strides forward. But I would say these two, and especially AI, is an undeniable technology that is going to change the world. Anyways, so the question is, how are these base technologies impacting different industries? This will help us figure out what the best jobs are. Let me explain. Healthcare is one of the fastest growing industries. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that 1.9 million jobs will open. A McKinsey report suggests that there's an acceleration of value-based care, continued innovation, and increased use of technology such as AI and robotics, as well as strengthening profitability. So the future healthcare industry is looking strong. The government and private companies traditionally in the healthcare industry and technology companies like NVIDIA are heavily investing in things like drug discovery and better diagnostics and better healthcare. Now let's take a look at the current fastest growing jobs in the healthcare industry. This is from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. And within the healthcare industry, there's nurse practitioners, medical and health service manager, physician's assistants, epidemiologists, physical therapist assistants, occupational therapy assistance, home health and personal aids. So as you can see, healthcare dominates this list. Now, here comes the really cool, interesting part. Let us put on our thinking caps. How are these technologies like AI and robotics affecting industry trends and transforming the jobs that are currently there in healthcare? So here are just some of them. AI is gonna help a lot with personalized care, like physical therapist assistants, physician assistants, medical and health services managers. With AI being so much better and information processing being so much better. Remote healthcare, telehealth is going to become even more prominent. And as I mentioned earlier, robotic surgery and basic research into discovering new drugs. So now we'll take this a step further. Doing a quick search on job boards like Indeed, searching keywords related to, for example, AI and healthcare, remote work, and those fast growing jobs. What do those people do? By like combining all of these together, searching for keywords related to these things. Here is a global AI associate based in Washington, DC, hybrid remote. See, I told you the names are not going to be like set sexy names, kind of like niche names. But it says here, engage with colleagues where many backgrounds, including the biopharma industry, regulated agencies, like things in the healthcare industry, gain exposure to these conducting research. Majorly here, stay up to date on the application of AI to the drug device and diagnostic industry, including the areas of process excellence, clinical development, post-market safety monitoring, and medical communications. Like a big part of your job would literally be to keep an eye up on all the new applications of AI in the healthcare industry. That is such a niche role, but there is so much potential for growth here. There is a health information technician, which is based in LA, healthcare engineer, project engineer. This one here is called the health sector technology practice leader. At its core, the role is intended to provide health facility technology vision and consulting for our health sector clients. We will provide solutions for our clients that enhance the patient experience, improve care delivery, reduce costs, and ultimately improve patient outcome. So for this role, it's quite clear that AI is going to be playing a big part of this and how you're going to be doing this, providing the health facility, technology visioning and consulting, etc, etc. There are a lot of these different roles if you search through the job boards. Welcome to computer coding class, which uh, replaces our last educational fad, mindfulness. Education has been and will continue being one of the fastest growing fields. And it's one of the fields that has already seen one of the biggest impacts from AI. So I'm sure you've heard about all the kids using ChatGPT to write their essays and stuff. Like you can't stop them from doing that, but how do we properly integrate that? Using AI's personalized tutors, online education. That's right. I had artificial intelligence write a course about artificial intelligence. And something super cool is expanding education in developing countries. So current fast growing jobs include a variety of teacher roles, tutors, preschool teachers in particular, and instructional coordinators. And there's just so many startups and companies already working on these, like Khan Academy, for example, that have their own personalized tutor now. Going on Indeed again, and putting in keywords related to AI, education, tutors, personalized learning, and what teachers do. There are so many jobs that pop up, especially if you look at the amount of money they're already being paid, 75 to $100 an hour part-time. Here's another one, learning designer for languages from Duolingo already being paid a lot of money. And this one actually explicitly says, leverage generative AI for creating content that is fun, accessible, and targets learners at specific proficiency levels. Jobs like these that use generative AI, they don't even require you to have any technical knowledge. Here is basically saying you just need a linguistics background and language knowledge, and ideally experience in educational and ed tech fields as well. Sustainable energy. There has been a lot of breakthroughs in 2023 for sustainable energy. On the fastest growing occupations list, wind turbine service technicians is on top. 
as well as solar photovoltaic installers. And also trending are sustainability consultants, who are people who help companies and the government figure out what are ways that they can practically implement green strategies and practices. There's jobs on Indeed as well. Honestly, I have like no idea what this means, sustainability utilities specialist. But looking at the core duties here, I see a lot of uh, presentations, analytical stuff, outreach programs, develop and manage data pipelines, and brings today's best practices from artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data science to bear on campus sustainability opportunities to generate new insights into familiar challenges. So clearly see that there is an AI component to this as well. Okay, so I cannot just skip over the tech slash AI industry, even though we all clearly know that this is an industry that is absolutely booming with opportunities. And unlike other fields, if you have these skills in AI and ML, you're able to apply them to any other fields out there. You can roughly split the jobs as like research level stuff and application level stuff. You can do stuff in all the things that we listed above. You can also work on marketing. You can improve healthcare diagnosis, individualized learning, and like literally almost anything. The world is your oyster here. Common roles would be your AI researcher, your AI engineers, machine learning engineers, ML ops, data scientists, data analysts, basically anything that has like some word that's related to industry like healthcare or marketing, sustainability, entertainment. And the last word of the role is engineer, analyst, scientist, or developer. That is a role that will have opportunity for you. One big trend that I want to point out that people are talking about a lot in terms of how cool it is, but they're not really thinking as much about the application of it. And that is AI content creation, specifically AI generated videos. There are so many applications of this. Of course, there's your social media content creation, which is what I do, but there's also educational content, creating of courses, advertisements, like marketing campaigns. You don't need to go and shoot really expensive advertising campaigns anymore you can actually generate a lot of these. You can try it out for yourself and get started learning how to use AI videos by using InVideo, who is the sponsor of this portion of the video. Thank you, InVideo. So InVideo is a platform that allows you to create videos just from text prompts. For example, I wanna generate a quick ad for my bakery. My prompt is, create an advertisement for a small family owned locally sourced bakery. Make the video like a story describing how the wheat is milled into flour. Then dough is created and shaped by hands with a female American voice with inspiring and gentle music. I can select my workflow to be a YouTube short and then I can use a female voice, clear American, add subtitles and use iStock normally. Continue and generate the video. And voila. In the heart of our town, there's a family, a family that wakes up before dawn while the world is still hushed and the sky painted in soft hues of twilight. They're not just any family, they are artisans, creators, bakers. Imagine a field of golden wheat swaying gently in the. Yeah, isn't that insane? <laughs> Okay, this is literally completely generated by InVideo. I did not have any script or any of the videos. If you don't like the video, you can click regenerate and then it would regenerate another video. In this case, I do like the video a lot, uh, but I can also make some small edits over here. Like for example, uh, right now, it this is how it ends. Home, the taste of our bakery. So it just ends like that. And I want to have a call to action to my bakery website. So I can do something like end with a CTA to visit tinybakery.com. Generate. Want to taste the magic for yourself? Visit us at tinybakery.com and start your own delicious journey today. Yay! And I was able to add that perfectly. Something else that I want to do is to add the logo as it's doing the call to action. So I can go here and then click on the last block here and write upload media. So let's choose this one. And I can click replace over here. So this is just the logo that I generated from mid journey. And we add apply changes. Want to taste the magic for yourself? Visit us at tinybakery.com and start your own delicious journey today. Yay! You can also go to the edit script option and you can edit the script as well. Um, in this case, I quite like it, so I'm not gonna change it. But yeah, there's actually a lot of little micro edits that you can do as well. Uh, after you're happy with it, you can click export to export video. Make sure that there's no watermarks and click continue. In the heart of our town, there's a family, a family that 
and there you go. Done. You can download it or just post to all your favorite social medias. This literally took me less than two minutes to do, and you can generate so many of these. Make your edits and A-B test them on platforms like IG, Facebook, or Google Ads to get the best advertisement at a fraction of the time and cost. You can play around with NVIDIA AI for free, and you can create up to four videos for free with a watermark, but if you're serious about video creation and want to publish videos without a watermark, you can also upgrade to a paid plan, which starts at $20 a month. With the premium version, there will be no watermarks and you get access to millions of royalty-free stock footage clips and a human sounding voiceover that would have cost you hundreds of dollars if you sourced them individually. Not to mention the hours you would spend creating the voiceover and the editing. Those shorts that you see on YouTube, TikTok, or IG, they look effortless, right? But as a content creator, I can assure you that it took countless takes and edits to make it it seem effortless. You can try out NVIDIA with this link also linked in description. Now back to the video. There are a lot more growing industries that I can talk about, but I don't want this video to be like two hours long. So the final kind of big category I just want to very quickly address is what I call like physical things. Recently, I ran across this super fascinating video in which he's showing this machine sorting potatoes that are yellow potatoes or red potatoes. And this is based upon computer vision, which is part of AI. These applications in machinery and other manual jobs are so underrated. More and more people just want to do white collar things, even though the trades are one of the most in demand and safest jobs out there. In conclusion. We have a big list now of the best jobs, but just because they're amazing jobs doesn't mean that they might be suitable to you personally. So I wanna walk you through an exercise to figure out which of these jobs would be most suitable for you. So first thing to think about is what degrees and skills do you have? I'll use myself as an example. So I have a master's degree in computer science. I've worked both in software engineering and data science, and I also have a bachelor's degree in pharmacology. So I have some familiarity on pharmaceutical industries and the healthcare industry as well. So computer stuff and drug stuff. I also have three years of experience now in content creation making educational videos, hopefully that are also entertaining. Next question, which fields are you interested in? For me, I'm interested in education and entertainment, like social media content stuff. Final question is what kind of skills would you be willing to learn? For me, I'm interested in learning about different languages as well as how to have like a more, how, how do you say, like a uh, traditional, understanding of how education works. I'm also interested in learning about more traditional media as well, like script writing, movies, like TV series, things like that. And now all you gotta do is take that as a screen and then go through all the jobs that we listed earlier and see which of these things are most suitable towards you. Now let me know in the comments which jobs sound like they could be interesting to you. Now the final step after you have that narrowed down list is to dig deeper into figuring out what are the qualifications, do the hours and like the way of working, do they match what you want to do? Please do your research into these roles and make Make sure that you're talking to the hiring manager a lot. These are jobs that are underrated and not widely publicized. So you can't depend on just like searching up other people's experiences to figure out what the role entails and how good of a fit it is. It's not your generic entry level data scientist or engineer kind of role, but it can hold even more potential. All right, so I hope this is a useful video. I really wanna know what your thoughts are and other jobs that you identify as well. Other people in the comments may also be interested in these roles too. Sharing is caring. All right, thank you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream.